Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another video. Today we're gonna go over basically a skill that replaces general disarray, but not to the point where it is gonna completely just take the place of it. More like it's something that we have to use now after our general disarray has been replaced with flame pummel. And the thing that I'm talking about is basically replacing your flame buster frame zero shake off cancel with the buster training shake off cancel. So, this has been a brand new thing. It's been in the game for a while, but let's just jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do whenever you use flame buster and replacing the flame buster shake off cancel with the blasting shake off cancel is to number one have both of them on your hotbar it really doesn't matter for me i have them on six and seven the re the main reason why you want flame buster on your hotbar is so you could just cast um your q buff ancient power or your you know shooting mobility that's the only reason that you need it on hotbar because we're gonna end up locking it so we're gonna end up locking flame buster and then, instead of using tapping the Flame Buster hotkey to, to do the Frame Zero Shake Off, right? We're just going to use the Blasting hotkey instead. So it's just going to be Shake Off, Blasting, Shake Off, Blasting, Shake Off, Blasting. Obviously, we could do it way more faster. So I'm just going to explain to you guys exactly how to do it. So it's just a Shake Off into a Blasting in the middle of the Shake Off. And then you just keep on repeating it very, very fast. So it should look like this. So you should just be gliding around like this all the time until you run out of stamina or until you run out of WP. So it, this version, the the Buster training version is way faster than the Flame Buster version of it. See, let me basically lock unlock this uh, lock shooting mobility because that's one of the downsides of it. And now I'm going to do the Flame Buster cancel. So it's about the same. The only difference that it uses uh, out of both of them is that the blasting takes more WP willpower. So this bar down here, the yellow bar down here, goes away faster whenever you use the Buster Training version. And then honestly, the Flame Buster version only goes on cooldown. I mean, only uses stamina and a little bit of WP. But the one that's more responsive and more practical for beginners and for me that I'm using personally is the bot is the blasting version of it so it is worth it just to have more options by just locking flame buster putting on your hotbar and then using blasting so uh, that's how i've been pvping more with my with uh this movement right here since general disarray is out of the question we need more movement options and blasting gives us a more consistent movement option than flame buster the only downside is that you can't use shooting mobility off of a frame zero right click, but you can still cast shooting mobility via the hotkey, which isn't that much of a loss. Another thing too, obviously the WP consumption, you see how my bar is just getting eaten up, but that that's honestly like a non-issue because if you have decent enough um, WP potions, like for me, I only use the, the shitty little ones that you make by hand and it's keeping up. So yeah, it makes it more what's that called i hate to say this but like for newer players you're gonna have to know this cancel you're gonna have to know this cancel because they took general disarray out if you want to play awakening zerker at a at a good level to actually start winning fights and to be good at pvp or just to continue on your pve grind cycle you're gonna have to know this combo and having blasting here makes it a lot easier because the timing on flame buster is a lot more strict compared to the blasting and the blasting allows you to cancel into it a lot more because since blasting is technically a left click skill just only holding down it cancels into a lot of stuff more quicker so like let's see that i want i want to do um let's see time blow and i'm going to instantly go into this right here like it is super easy to cancel out of and the timing of it's very lenient and you can get some really good distance with it usually general disarray should have been like all that we needed just to get those like slight little gap closes but we're gonna have to play on hard mode you guys so if you guys need extra movement make sure you guys use the blasting of it and that's basically my psa of it 
Um, I have been PvPing with this almost exclusively, and I have been just like catching everyone, bro. Like the movement on the blasting is so crazy. But I just wanted you guys to point out the downfalls. Why it's better? What are the differences? There's really no difference, just other than you know Buster training being, I mean blasting becoming more and more responsive and a little bit more quicker. See, like my forward ones are pretty responsive. My back ones, my sideways ones are pretty responsive. So, yeah. We're going to need this. This is a very important skill to get down because we lost our general disarray. And with that, you guys, it's a quick little video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And feel free to follow me on Twitch. You know, I stream Mondays through Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to like about 2 a.m. So with that, you guys, I'll see you into the next video. Make sure you use uh, Buster Training instead of Flame Buster because you're, you're going to thank me later. Have a good one, you guys.